everyone! So I'm going to do my April, yeah, April, I was going to say March, my April favorites for you. I've got quite a few um, beauty items, plus a couple not beauty items. So I'll go with beauty first, just in case you're more interested in that than the other, and I'll just get started right into it. So the first thing I have is my Naked 2 palette. No surprise to probably most of you. Um, I really, really love, you guys already know Naked Palette. There's so many like tutorials and reviews and whatnot um, out there, but it's getting a little dirty. Um, my favorite colors definitely, I think, would be, what's this one, Foxy, yeah. Foxy, and I'm just starting to get into Booty Call um, and using those as my highlight. I never used to use anything that had any shimmer, but I started using Booty Call and I absolutely love it. I'll use Tease a lot as like a blending color, YDK Suspect, um, Half Baked, really like that. I'm using that today, as well as Snake Bite and, yeah, and YDK. Whoa! Um, so I really, really, really am enjoying this. I'm using, um, if I'm not doing an entire look from this every day, I'm at least using at least one color at least every day. So I'm really, really enjoying that. When I first got it, like I liked it, but I didn't use it that much. Now, really, really enjoying it. Okay, so next thing I have here, uh, I'll just show you, is um, my Sigma Duo Fiber um, Powder Blush Brush. And um, I absolutely love this. I've been wanting to get a brush that I could use for um, cream for the longest time. So I got that, and what I've been doing most days, if I'm, like, I'm wearing it today, I'm use using this. I'm using this, like, almost every day. Even if I'm um, going to wear, like, a powder blush, I'll put something really light, for example, like my Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush in Orchid, Orchid Hush. And you can see I've been using that quite a bit, putting a little bit of that on as like a base to help my shadow, or my shadow, my blush stick, and then I'll put another color over top, and um, so I've been doing this a lot, like I'm, I did it today, I don't know if you can really tell, but did today, yesterday, I've been doing that like so, so much. Next like little duo I have here is this is my Hard Candy, this is a br uh, baked bronzer in color Tiki, but I use it as a highlight, and I'm using it today. I've never, ever been a highlight kind of person, but ever since I got this, uh, I've been wearing it probably almost every single day, and it's just a, such the prettiest um, color. I really, really like that, and uh, I've just been using my Quo um, fan brush. I already had this, but I bought it a long time ago, but never used it, and it's just like the perfect like shape and size just to get, you know, a little bit of highlight on the cheeks area. I mean you could use finger or something, but I really like using a brush on my face. So that's my little Quo fan brush and my Hard Candy bronzer. Next item I have is my Fox in a Box and I've been loving, loving, loving this. This is in the color skinny dipping. And most times I'll use just like the orange, like peachy color. Sometimes I'll use the like brown as well. Usually just like it's super pigmented, so just, just, um, I can't think today, just dip your brush in and put it on, and it's really, really pretty. I'm sure I already showed these in, like, some sort of haul or something, but anyways, I really, really like this, and I've been using that a lot as well. Next thing I got is my Max, Max, Mac, oh my goodness, this is going to be interesting, Mac NW20 Studio Finish Concealer with SPF 35, and I've been using that my goodness, this is not... <laughs> Anyways, I've been using that like this every single day. I've been having some breakouts and whatnot that I usually put that... I'll put it under my eyes, but usually um, if I have any breakouts or spots or anything, that's what I use it for. It's really, really great. I like it a lot. Next thing is my um, L'Oreal... This is like the same as the Carbon Intense Liner or lin Linear Liner or whatever by, by L'Oreal and you know, the black one. This is the brown. I have the black one as well, but I just find for my skin coloring and whatnot, um, brown is just so much more flattering on me. And um, I'll just do a tiny little... It's so pretty and I love it. It's the exact same as the black one, just in brown. And I'm wearing it today as well. And I really, really like it. And to reach that almost every day. I'm not like... I do like liner. Um, I don't wear it every day, but when I do wear it, I'm probably usually wearing that. Or I'm wearing this. I got a sample of this in my uh, Lux box like a couple months ago or something. No. No, I didn't. Did I get it in my Lux box? Maybe. I don't remember. 
Anyways, whatever, I got a Lancome, um, an eye coal, and this is in black coffee, and um, it was only maybe just a little bit bigger than that, but I've been using this a lot as well, I'll do a swatch, and it's just the nicest, like, black-brown color, um, I really like that, I'm wearing this on my waterline today, and if I'm not using the other brown, I'm wearing this one as my liner. Next item I have here, this definitely came in my Lux box, I know that, this is my City Lips Collagen Peptide Lip Plumping Treatment, and this is just clear, it's just a tiny little sample, I'm wearing it today, and um, I usually when I get my little samples, like really small little things like this, I'll just throw them in my little sample drawer and kind of forget about them, and I took it out because it's like, oh, clear cloth, I've marked clear cloth in a long time, and I don't know if it actually does like plump, but you can definitely feel it like Burning is kind of the wrong word, but like definitely like tingling and stuff. It's like super crazy. Um, so I really like that, and I've been wearing. I mean, you can kind of tell I've been using quite a bit of it. Um, so I might end up actually buying the full size when I run out of that because I do really like it. I mean, I haven't worn clear gloss in like forever. <laughs> Anyways, um, next thing I have here. This is my rose cell from Bath and Body Works, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know what this is. I always have such a hard time opening it though. Um, anyways, I just put this, um, usually on my lips at night. I'm not a huge fan of, like, sticking fingers in, um, <laughs> into stuff, but, um, yeah, I'll, I'll use this only just on my lips, and I put that on before I go to bed. And I've had this for a while, but I've never, um, talked about it, but I really, really like it. So, it's super pretty. One new thing that I got is my Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. I'm in the lightest color, which is number 100, Ivory. And I've been wearing this. Got this closer to the beginning of the month, I guess. I'm wearing it almost every single day. I really like it. Uh, it's super creamy, whatnot. Um, lasts a long time. I feel like it really hydrates my skin. And because it is also a hydrating uh, foundation as well, really, really like it. Moving onwards, I have an Essence lipstick in Creamy Nude, and these are like really inexpensive. You can get them at Shoppers, and it's just like the perfect kind of nude, creamy, like moisturizing lipstick. Been wearing that tons and tons and tons lately. Really, oh my goodness, I like almost need to start over again here. I don't know if there's like something on my fingers, or I'm just really clumsy today. Probably just really clumsy. Wow. How many, how many things have I dropped so far? Like three, four? <laughs> I'm not even done yet. Okay, next I have my Revlon Color Stay Sheer Lip Liner in Sheer Blush. Wear this color, um, especially if I'm going to wear my little um, clear gloss. I'll just throw this on. It's basically my lips, but better, or like basically my exact lip color. I'll throw this on and then the clear gloss over top it so pretty and it'll last like such a long time. Really, really like that. Or I'll just put that under like um, the the Essence like lipstick or something under a nude color. Okay. Next thing is my Wet n Wild Mega Lash Salon uh, nail color in private viewing and it's just like a nude color. I've been wearing this a ton this month. Um, like today I've, I've put on, I changed up my polish yesterday but before that like I had this color on. I really, really, really like it. Um, it's just the prettiest nude color, really inexpensive. Love, love, love that color. It's just very like, feminine too, which is really nice. Hey, next thing is my Pacifica Hawaiian Ruby Guava Perfume. I've been carrying this with me uh, ever since I got it, but um, maybe not the entire month. I mean, I've loved it since I've got it, but um, I usually like spray on perfume, um, you know, when I'm getting ready in the morning, but I decided to just use my little rollerball instead of like putting other perfume on. I've been using this and I really, really like it. It smells like you could eat it. Like I want to eat it. It just smells so good. <laughs> Anyways, but I won't. Then the next thing I have is my Vaseline Convenience Size Moisturizer Cream, whatever. Uh, so it's just a little size for your purse. I wanted to get like the small little tub of it, but all they have is like the regular giant size. So I just got, just got this. I've been keeping it in my purse and um, been using it. I've been having some dry skin patches just around my nose and on um, my mouth. So I've been using that um, like every day, several times a day, and it's just such a great moisturizer. Or if for some reason, like I always have a lip gloss or a lipstick or something with me, but if for some reason they didn't, I'd be putting this on my lips just because you will get a tiny bit of shine and it's super moisturizing as well. 
almost done, almost. The next thing is my Naturally Fresh Teodorant Crystal and Papaya Fusion. And it's just one of these, um, like an organic natural, um, there's like no parabens or whatever, um, no aluminum or anything like that in it. Just one of the roller balls. And um, you can tell I like fruity things. Um, so it's papaya, it smells like papaya. Um, it just roll on deodorant. I'm not, um, I don't know how well it works for like sweating. I'm not a big sweater. Sorry, kind of gross. I'm not a big sweater, but um, I, I feel like this works really well compared to other deodorants. I don't know. I've been using it all this month and I really like it. It smells really good. It's kind of wet when you put it on too much, like slap your arms a little bit or something. Um, just a few seconds just till it dries, but after that, like the smell lasts all day. Um, I really like it. Like I said, I haven't been out like running or anything, but Okay, so moving on from makeup, that was all the makeup items that I had. I'm sure you'll probably notice this from like outfits of the days and whatnot, but this is just my, uh, this is a necklace. Wow. Okay. Um, I got this at Aldo, and it's just like two little birds sitting on a stick, basically. Um, I had it on today, but I had to take it off to do the video. But I really, really like this necklace. Um, it's just super simple, really pretty, and like inexpensive. I think it was like under $10. Really, really good price. So the next would be my little bow earrings. Again, I had these on, and I had to take them off, but my little black bows. And I have these in other colors as well, but the black ones, um, I just find like they're, they go with pretty much everything. I really like them. They're feminine, but slightly edgy because they're black, but mostly feminine, so I really like them. And um, last two favorites, actually, are TV shows that I've been really getting into. I'm not a big TV person. Um, I used to be, but then, you know, YouTube and internet and everything, so now I don't really watch a lot of TV, but two shows that I really, really like, that I've been watching every single week, or if not, I'm, like, PVRing them, is, uh, Touch, the new one with Kiefer Sutherland, and, oh my gosh, like, it's, it's like, it's a feel-good show, kind of, like, you're like, oh, you don't really know, like, everything kind of comes full circle, you don't really know what's gonna happen, or, or go on, sorry, I'm, like, eating my little claws here, um, you don't really know what's gonna happen, but, it's just incredible to think that one event, you know, one little thing needs to happen and it can change so many people's lives around the entire universe. So it's a really amazing show. Thursday night, it's on at like 9 o'clock where I am um, on Global. I absolutely love it. It's like so good. I do not watch it. Or sorry, I do not watch it. I do not watch TV, but I will be like, I need to watch the show Thursday night. I have to watch the show. Right after Touch, um, is the show called Awake. I think it's in its first season, and I just happened, because I was watching Touch, just happened to see the next show that came on, and it's, I probably won't even explain it too well, or maybe not even fully correctly, but it's basically this, like, detective, and, um, he, he, I, he doesn't really know which reality, I guess, he's in. Um, he, uh, I'm sure, like, a lot of you have watched it, and it's it's really, really, really good, um, and you can understand it way better than I'm going to explain it, but, like, he doesn't know which reality he's in. Like, I guess, like, his wife passed away, so he has a reality where it's just him and his son, and he's doing his police work, and then he'll wake up, and he'll be in a completely different reality where his wife is still alive, but he, and he'll, like, go to, like, a therapist in each world and be like, I don't know which world is real, and I don't know what's actually really going on, and each you know, one will be like, well, this is the real world, and the other therapist is like, no, this is the real world that you're in. So you don't know, and he's like constantly waking up, and you don't know which world is actually, like, which one he's actually in, or which one's actually real. It's such an amazing concept for a show. Um, so I've been like, touch, and then awake, and that is like, I have to watch my shows, and if not, I'm PVRing them, which is so odd, because I never cared if I've missed an episode or something, but these two shows are really, really great. Absolutely love them. Uh, can't wait for this Thursday. There was like a big thing kind of that happened on awake, so I'm like, oh my gosh, can't wait to like watch the show and see, you know, what's gonna happen. Um, so, anyways, I know it was like a huge ramble at the end there and a lot of makeup stuff to get through, but I hope you guys uh, watched the whole thing, so yay if you did, and um, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!